Hey everybody, this video is going to be about something I haven't talked about yet. Now before we get started, my name is Sean, I have a background in tech, and this channel is all about AI and its effect on humans, good or bad, and we also test AI to see if it's up to the hype. So let's get started. Now, I, I think that a discussion on what I'm about to say is long overdue. And this has to do with the amount of electricity that the data centers consume when it comes to powering AI. Now, there are some of you guys who really do know that power is a bottleneck, but I don't know if you know how bad it is. So what I want to do is jump in right away and talk about the electricity part of this. Now, there are going to be some of you guys who you have this pie in the sky attitude about, well, just put up a bunch of solar panels and some windmills and we're good. Um, I can't take you seriously if you say that. Why? Because none of those things equal a coal power plant or a nuclear power plant. None of them do. When the wind stops blowing and the sun stops shining, so we're going to focus right now on how many coal plants are required to power these data centers and or nuclear power plants. I think the numbers are going to really surprise you. Now, let's get right into the numbers. So back in 2023, these data centers consumed around 55 gigawatts of power. That is equal to the output of 92 coal plants or 46 nuclear plants. Now, here's the projection for less than two years from now. The data centers alone will require around 140 coal powered plants or 70 nuclear powered plants. So these are mind blowing numbers because if you guys look around, how many power plants do you see being constructed right now? Uh, we don't see a whole lot of them going up. So what is happening right now is as the demand for AI, which is basically LLMs, I hate using the word artificial intelligence because intelligence it is not, but it does consume a lot of energy. So right now they're tying into the grids that power our homes. They're tying in and taking energy from what we all use. And why is this important? Well, as the AI tech grows, the demand for power grows. So what happens if in your area, there's not enough power? Does it get to the point where it's like in California, they have these rolling brownouts where the power will go off for an hour or two and then it'll come back on and then they'll give it to someone else? I mean, who decides what is going to be powered? I mean, we're talking about a lot of problems that are about to happen with this whole AI thing. You know, I, I've been talking about the AI as, as a bubble that's about to burst because I just did not believe that uh, the, the LLMs in their current state are living up to the hype. And I'm not talking about the stuff the government has behind closed doors. I'm talking about what is given out to the public. What are people investing in the stock market for? You know, when people finally figure out that these companies are throwing billions and billions of dollars into this and they're not making enough money, they're actually losing billions of dollars. And a lot of the cost is going into these infrastructure uh, projects. Um, the energy is not cheap. So when you're sitting there writing your paper, you're having AI help write a paper or you're drawing, you know, you're creating a, a, a fuzzy cat in, you know, some kind of weird picture. Or if you are making a Bigfoot video, how important are those? Is there going to be a point when 
AI itself, the access to these data centers is going to have to be restricted. Now, one of the ways to restrict it is just jack up the price of access to AI. But right now, they're trying to get everybody addicted to it as much as possible. But something has to give here because there, there is not enough electricity to power all this. It's not going to happen. Now, what happens if they decide, you know, the cities are more important to power, shut down the AI? What if AI has a blackout or, or brownout? Then all these systems that are starting to rely on AI won't function. So something has to give. When will it give? I actually think it'll be very soon. I think when you look at what is AI giving humanity right now? I know a lot of you guys love it because it's helping you write papers and things like that. But if you look at the amount of good and the amount of energy savings that it gives all of us. We have to work less hard. Um, things become more efficient. Uh, they're not, that, that gain is not living up to the amount of power that these things are consuming. They're consuming way more power than they're giving back. This is, this is not sustainable. Now, because OpenAI and Sam Altman, you know, they've got this vision and he's got a, he's kind of got a, a sort of a scary closet vision of, of some really advanced AI. But, you know, right now the main energy consumption is the AI we're all using. And what happened is, you know, just in the last few years, since they have been pushing all this forward, then all the other companies had to get in. Uh, Google with Gemini and uh, Elon Musk's XAI with Grok, DeepSeek, and uh, Anthropics, Claude. You know, they all had to get into this, and now it's like an AI arms race but it's not bringing back any profit or any anything back. And so when is this going to end? I think it's going to end kind of soon. And I'm not talking about AI will end. I'm talking about this bottleneck a lot of you guys kind of knew about, which was the power consumption. The bottleneck is going to be the killer of this thing for a while. And then some reorganization is going to have to happen. But in the meanwhile, we're all just going to go running at this blindly. And we're just going to think AI is it's just going to keep advancing, but it can't advance without power. Now, one of the interesting things that came out from one of the engineers in OpenAI, which they make ChatGBT, is they admitted that ChatGBT's got issues, same with same with a lot of the other LLMs. And one of the one of the main issues is like hallucinations um, and giving out bad answers. Just a lack of being able to consistently put out correct answers. And one of the one of the engineers commented on that and said that it will take them 20 times the amount of electricity to give a right answer than to be a best guesser like it is now. ChatGPT and, and these others are just giving you their best guess on things. But in order for them to really make these things correct, they need 20 times more power. Now, power is a very, very important thing for all of us. Now, there's a lot of environmentalists that 
they speak up and they and they they want to end all coal plants and things like that but i mean if you guys seen how many plants are being constructed in china alone just dirty coal powered plants it'll blow your mind but i mean how many environmentalists care they don't really say anything about china they just talk about the rest of us and you know, when I was looking into this, I just absolutely could not believe how little is being said about the power consumption that AI is going to require. And when I'm t what I mean about that is I'm not hearing any really in environmental groups have any concerns whatsoever about this. Even Greta Thunberg, she, she gets on a boat to Palestine, but she, she's not talking about this and what an impact making all these extra plants could end up having. Now, I'm not, I'm not in the environmentalist crowd. I, I, I'm, a, I'm more of a moderation kind of person because I think that we can create electricity within moderation. We don't have to go all crazy and ban everything. But at the same time, I look at a lot of the climate activists and I just wonder where they're at. I mean, this is getting really, really big. So having electricity can determine whether the place you live in is modern or if it becomes a third world country. A lot of times, if you take away the electricity, you end up with a third world situation. Things become more primitive. Things become more disorganized and lawless. So electricity is really important for all of us. And back in 2010 or 2011, I remember really studying a simulation of what happens when a major city loses electricity for several weeks. It was amazing how the death toll just from cutting the power went up. It was unbelievable. You know, at first people could kind of manage, but man, a week into it, people are already dying. And it's not just from civil unrest, it's from hospitals having to shut down, there's no power. It's from lack of drinking water, which people needed to survive. And if you're in a place like Phoenix, Arizona, and it's in the middle of summer and the power goes out, there's a lot of people who are going to die. So what do we do in sharing the power with these data centers? Do we require the data centers that are being built also have their own power plant built? near them and if we do this on such a large scale where were the climate activists you know what i'll tell you i think some of them are just so busy using ai that's just my guess but something is going to give on this something's going to break now i would say in the future i have I do have a projection about where this is going to go. I do think that they're going to put a lot of this stuff out in space in orbit because they can put large solar arrays up that have access to sunshine most of the time. And if they can make the chips, the GPU chips, a lot more efficient so they don't take a lot of power, uh, that'll help as well. So I do think in the future, a lot of this stuff will be floating around in space. It's not always a good thing, but that's kind of where it's going to be going. But in the meanwhile, this bottleneck is going to be a real problem. And there's going to have to be some sacrifices made. Do they power your home? Or do they power the data center? Who has more power 
who has more authority, who has more sway to determine where the electricity is di is diverted? I mean, what if the AI companies, they just have more influence? So we gotta keep, gotta keep the data centers running, but the city can go into, into a blackout. You know, there's, there's gonna be some hard choices that are going to have to be made. So anyway, um, I'm glad I could get this off my chest. I just think it was kind of long overdue for me to talk about this. And uh, be sure to drop a comment. I read all your comments. And if your comment is intelligent and it's about AI, there's a lot of times I, I write them down all over the place. These are your comments, not word for word, but these are points you guys have brought up. And I take screenshots of a lot of the comments and uh, I really appreciate anything intelligent you guys have to say. And if you don't have anything intelligent, well, let me know your concerns because those are intelligent. All right, that's it. And uh, till next time, catch you later. Bye.